In 1910's Lahore, a jewel of the British Raj, a boy destined to decipher the language of the stars was born, Subramanian Chandrasekhar. He was homeschooled until the age of 12, absorbing knowledge at a dizzying pace. His environment was a fertile breeding ground for intellect, his mother was a brilliant translator and his father a high-ranking civil servant with a colossal library that young Chandra devoured, teaching himself calculus before adolescence. As the nephew of the celebrated Nobel Prize-winning physicist C.V. Raman, scientific excellence ran through his veins, a legacy to honor and a shadow to escape. The true seed of his legend was planted in 1930. At just 19 years old, in the solitude of a long boat voyage to Cambridge University aboard the steamer SS Pilsner, his mind embarked on its own cosmic odyssey. As the monotonous ebb and flow of the waves marked the days, a storm of equations raged in his mind. The conventional wisdom, established by his future mentor Ralph Fowler, said that dead stars, white dwarfs, were held together by a strange quantum law, electron degeneracy pressure. But Chandra wondered, what does Einstein's relativity say about this? He realized that, at the extreme densities of a collapsed star, electrons would be moving at speeds approaching that of light. And relativity imposed a fatal limit, electrons could not provide infinite pressure. With pencil and paper, he calculated that limit with astonishing precision, if the stellar core exceeded approximately 1.44 times the mass of the Sun, pressure would be useless. Gravity, relentless, would win the battle, crushing the star to a point of infinite density, a singularity. He had just discovered a cosmic precipice, the death knell for the most massive stars.